Is this slip dress just on its own with the boots like Kate Moss or is it just a skirt on my chest? <laughs> Hello fun friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Savannah, this is my minimalist wardrobe and today I am shopping my own closet. I feel like lately I've been stuck in a rut as far as wearing the same things, the same ways, and I was just watching a ton of celebrity styling videos a la Alison Bornstein, and she has so many great tips and tricks. So today I am taking the time to actually play dress up, get creative, and just find new ways to wear my clothes that feel fresh. So let's, let's get dressed. So today I won't be following Allison's procedure, her process exactly because I already have a pared down wardrobe. But one element I'm going to use of her process are the house, labeling the house in your closet, which are all the pieces you don't know exactly how to style, but you love that piece. So I'm gonna start with styling this brand new yellow cardigan I just got. Well, it's actually from the 60s, it's very old, but it's new to me. And I've only worn it tucked into jeans with nothing underneath. And I wanna try a few different outfits to make it a little more dimensional and work a little more for me. Okay, outfit one. I'm already having fun. I love this outfit. So I wanted to make this kind of old school, a doo-wop look, look a little bit more modern. So I layered underneath this ribbed tank and I added a little gold chain. I also grabbed these sunglasses just to add a little bit more masculine, strong energy to the super feminine sweater. So that's the look. And I'm just wearing a pair of mid-rise, mid-wash jeans and a pair of colorful Air Max sneakers. I would definitely wear this outfit. It's not that far out of my comfort zone. And I feel like it's something really cool and interesting. I feel like I don't see this combo very much. Okay, let's do another look with the yellow sweater. And we have cardigan look number two. Okay, love. This is such a classic little trick, just a switcheroo. I used to do this with cardigans a lot when I used to work in an office to mix things up. And I haven't done it in a few years. And oh my gosh, it looks so nice. I mean, the tag shows through a little bit, but who cares, honestly? <laughs> or just cut the tag out. I really like this tag, so I don't want to cut it. Yes, yeah, so that's what's happening here. It's just so classic and simple. I love the kind of high neck. And then I paired it with this long necklace, this locket. It looks really pretty just a dreaming hair on my chest and I have on a pair of just classic true blue denim jeans they're kind of high-waisted for shoes I would pair this with a little pair of kitten heels probably or maybe loafers I just don't really have any shoes with me because we're living out of Airbnbs right now I just have sneakers and boots and the boots are like real boots so I'm just gonna have on invisible heels right now so just pretend I have little cute heels on <laughs> Yeah, gorgeous. And then for me, this is very classic looking, so I'm gonna grab my pair of classic frames, wear them low on the nose, cute little look, a couple pieces of hair tousled, a little bit Jackie O maybe. And this is my only purse. It's pretty classic as it gets. I feel like it looks really nice with these sunglasses. So elegant, so chic, but still fun and bright. That is look number two. Let's do a third look. Okay, cardigan look number three. I'm trying to gauge how I feel about this one. I like the colors, I love the overalls, the sweater together, but I don't know where to put the knot. Where does the knot go, you guys? I feel like this isn't right. It looks like a satchel. I think it's like mid-body. But yeah, fun, funky. This feels very like utilitarian, easy to do. I just have a little ribbed tank underneath and my overalls. And then I have my Airbag sneakers on again. For me, this is super mom-proof. And then for a bag, I would just use a tote bag. Like this is my diaper bag. If I don't have my purse, this is the bag that I use. So yeah, cute little combo. And then for shades, I'm reaching for my more masculine pair again. This pair is really fun. These are the classic blinky blinkers from Krill. And I just think they're really, really great. If I wanna make an outfit a bit cooler, a little more slick and interesting. That's the look. I've never done the sweater tie. I've done over the shoulders, like classic golfer preppy look, but across this one's new for me and very, very cute, I think. Yay. All right, let's pick a new piece to style. Okay, my next how is this silk midi skirt. I actually do wear this a lot, but I really only wear it one way. I wear it with a little tank top like this or a t-shirt and sneakers. I love that way, but I want to do more with this skirt. I know it has more versatility in it. So let's try a few different looks. I have them in my head. I don't even know if they're gonna work. Let's try. Woo! Look number one with the midi skirt. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this fits. <laughs> 
around my chest. And actually, I would normally go braless. Like, it's a bit tight right by the armpits. But oh my gosh, all I had to do was just stuff down the silk into my jeans. You can't see it a little bit on the legs, but honestly, you can barely see it. And I have on my boots. I feel like little sandals, little heels would look really beautiful. And then my back. Yeah, this is so cute. I feel like for a concert, a nice little dinner, a night out with girlfriends when you're just in the mood to wear black, this is really, really nice. I'm a big tube top person, so gorgeous. Okay, this next one is random as a heck, you guys, but I'm just going for it. I'm being experimental. So I have on the skirt as a dress. It does have a little slit, so it's a little bit, a little bit sultry up the thigh. And I thought instead of just doing the straight tube top, I threw over this little ruched swimsuit bikini top over the dress and it just keeps the girls in a cute place. It has a little bit of texture. I mean, it's a bit of a baby doll look, but I feel like it's not too majorly because I have on the oversized jean jacket. We've got the slit and a pair of boots. This is the look. I feel like it's fun, right? I don't know. I feel like the dress without the swimsuit top, the shape of it, here, I'll show you, is a little bit like that funny shapeless dress style from like 2006. I feel like that's very like a, a gossip girl or like Mary Kay and Ashley. It's not the best look. I mean, you could belt it. I mean, I'm not a big belter. I feel like that takes you to like the hoedown showdown. I don't know. Is this lip dress just on its own with the boots like Kate Moss or is it just a skirt on my chest? <laughs> I don't know, but that definitely counts for an outfit. Let's do another one with this skirt. So, <laughs> okay, this one was a flop for me. Um, <laughs> okay, it's so funny because in my head, I thought this was gonna be the best one. It's like so bad. Okay, so in my head, I was going to fold up this skirt and turn it into like a high-waisted mini flirt and flounce sort of scenario. And then I was gonna tuck in this PJ top and have it be like more of like a straight across little seam there, kind of like a crop two-piece set. But it's really just a pajama top tucked in my bra and a skirt that's not meant to be folded. It's so scary and low-waisted and bunchy. So I don't know if this counts as one, but that's the point of this whole thing, right? Is to experiment. I do like the black and navy. Like I think I'm onto something there. It's just a lot and like my whole belly is out, which cute, but also not cute so okay I'm going to carry on now I think I'm done with the skirt for a bit I'm actually gonna work with this pajama top now because I do want to start wearing it in more ways than just jeans and a silk blouse actually wait let's do this skirt a little more I have a couple more ideas that just popped in my head so I have on my swimsuit top this is like my multi-purpose everything like bra little crop top I know it's just a bikini top but this is kind of a little Julia Fox moment a lot of skin a lot of torso and then I feel like a big jacket over top right we just did the denim jacket let's do my leather jacket I don't wear a lot of all black I mean I do sometimes but this is <laughs> I feel like something I maybe wouldn't wear here where I am in Boise, Idaho right now, but in New York or LA, I don't know how practical, but definitely cool and fun, right? A little matrix moment. And then, I mean, the black boots, I feel like that's a lot. My white sneakers. Yeah, I think that would be really cute. And then a ball cap would look really cute. I feel like this colored one is kind of a lot. Ooh. Actually, I changed my mind, not, <laughs> not that. My bag, and then I feel like for sunglasses, maybe something a little playful. Yes, let's use these round kind of 70s pair. I feel like it balances the outfit out really well because the black is kind of serious, sexy, and then the sneakers kind of tone it down, make it more approachable. And same with the glasses, it adds a little bit of fun and flair, so it's not taking itself too seriously. Yeah, woo. Okay, let's do <laughs> one more with the skirt because I have one more idea. Okay, most obvious outfit ever. My long giant sweatshirt and this silky mini skirt. Hello, and sneakers, duh. I've done <laughs> tank tops, t-shirts, and like over jackets, like the jean jacket with the skirt, but I haven't done my huge sweatshirt. I love this look. This is so me. Okay, fun. And then for glasses, I'm gonna put on my more classic frames. I feel like that's really nice. My other ones are a bit too masculine to wear with the sweatshirt. And then I feel like I would, yeah, I would totally wear this hat. My bun is not in bun position, but whatever. I'm just gonna cram it on. Yeah, that is so fun. Woo! I'm loving it. I will for sure wear this. This is the most wearable one yet. Yeehaw! Ta-da! Redemption for the PJ shirt. 
You guys, this looks so beautiful. I am loving this blue tonal look. I've got the pajama shirt obviously underneath. I kind of left it unbuttoned so the, the ends, the flaps could flappity flap down here. And then I have this navy cardigan right over top. It is cashmere, it's pretty warm, but for a cool night, oh my gosh, it looks so gorgeous together. And I love how the top underneath hangs down over the shorts. It looks really, really cool. And then for footwear, I feel like I don't quite have the right footwear. I probably wear loafers with these. I don't own loafers right now, but I have on my boots. They're a bit heavy, but I do feel like you need a heavier shoe to balance out the bare leg look. But oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Let me try it with my jean jacket. I really like kind of an elegant little collar or like something a little preppier paired with something worn in and loved like denim, so. I don't know, is that beautiful? I feel like it's beautiful. This is so my style. Okay, let's do another outfit with this little PJ top. Next up for the pajama top. This is my favorite shirt underneath right now. You guys may have seen it if you watched the videos. It is so cute and I just folded it underneath to give it a little bit more of a crappy crop. And I've been trying to wear these pajamas as an outfit, but I think it might just be too exactly that. I actually do love the colors of these two together. So I feel like the top half is giving what it needs to give, but the bottom half is a little tie waist. <laughs> I don't know, does it look cool? I mean, let's Let's try it with jeans and see. Okay, I feel like this isn't exactly the original look I was going for, but it does look pretty cute together. Okay, I feel like it looks pretty. Maybe the PJ top isn't as oversized as it needs to be to be a real like over shirt hanging thing, but I do like the colors, so I don't know if I would totally wear this, but I don't hate it. I feel like it is a fun little look. Okay, let's do one more. I'm really gonna try to do an outfit that makes these pajama pants work. <laughs> Okay, I just took the silk top off. Maybe this moment is just me learning that I actually like this a little bit more cropped, especially for summer, because I've just been wearing it with jeans tucked in and it feels a little bit off. And I feel like this slight crop with the breaking up of the skin and the jeans is maybe working better. I feel like when it's tucked in, it looks a little matronly. And then if it's cropped, just this tiny little amount, it looks super, super cute. Okay, I'll take it as a little learning lesson, a little memento. We're going out with a bang, you guys. This is so cute. Yes, I'm wearing pajama pants as pants, but they are so gorgeous with this yellow. I am so happy this is working. So yes, I put on the cardigan backwards once again, and I actually let out these sleeves, and I feel like making the sleeves extra long and chic, just having my little fingers peep out looks really nice and elevated with these simple pants. And the drawstring, I feel like, is the giveaway that they're very pajama, so I'm just tucking it in, and then I'm having the sweater just hang over ever so slightly. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. I feel like loafers, sneakers, anything would look really beautiful. Yay, this is pretty. I will actually wear this outfit for sure. I like outfits that are like crazy, crazy simple. I don't like to think that hard about combinations, and this is just boom, 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 soft, squishy, Pieces, squishy, soft, for sure soft. Let's try the trucker hat. Boop. Uh, I feel like that makes it a little too party. I feel like more like a tiny pearl earring. I don't wear pearls, but that's the vibe. That's the essence. Yeah, I feel like I don't know what I would add. I mean, I could throw over my jean jacket, my leather jacket, but just as is feels really right to me. I love it. Wow, this was so much fun. I love going through all of my hows. Thank you, Allison Bornstein, for the inspiration for this video. You guys, shop your closet. I'm feeling very creatively inspired and inspired to just do this with more pieces. There's other things in my closet that I kind of feel the same way about, that I just style them in one way, a one note sort of thing. And I want to be multi-dimensional, a multi-functional utilitarian with my closet. That's what I've done today here. Thank you guys for watching till the end. If you did, give this video a like, subscribe, we're almost to 2,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. My subscribers, you guys are the best. The OGs, I love you. Having so much fun here on YouTube. Have the best day, you guys. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.